710 ESPN Seattle presents Bob and Graz's One More Thing. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Great news for Peyton. Kinda. Even you chuckled at that one, right? Because I'm looking at Brady. All right, so we are. This is like breaking news on on uh, on Bob and Rod's uh, video. In fact, that's right. That's Bob with a hard copy of the story. He literally is is learning as we speak here because this has just come out and it's going to be talked about. And one by the time we're on the air tomorrow, there may be more details to it. But it sounds like, and it's from sources reporting, and you're getting a lot of details on these sources, mm-hmm. so it's hard not to not to take it seriously. Reporting to Chris Mortensen and Adam Schefter that in terms of Peyton Manning's neck being fused and, and getting through his third neck surgery successfully and, and the fact that that one hit is not necessarily going to end his career, it seems as though if these reports are true, that hurdle has been cleared. Yeah, and it was a concern when people were talking about, well, why would you risk it? Why would you chance paralysis for a career? We've already achieved everything. That's no longer a concern, according to the story. Peyton Manning's been medically cleared by two doctors, including Dr. Uh, Robert Watkins, who performed his most recent surgery, uh, saying he's cleared to resume his NFL career. Uh, in Dr. Uh, Frank Fewer, who's the Colts neurosurgeon, said, "If you were my own son, I'd tell you to go play." So, so the only so question- that fear has been eliminated. Yeah. That was a very real fear for a lot of fans, probably a lot of teams who thought. Well, man, one hit, what's going to happen to this guy? We don't want that on our conscience. You don't want to see that? No. That's a a big hurdle that's been eliminated. And it's obviously not a negative, but of course, the issue is can he do this the way he used to do it? If the nerve damage that's affected his tricep and his velocity of throwing, as the story says, that that he's cleared in terms of having the hit, Mm -hmm. being cleared and being able... You know, being at 100% being able to throw it are obviously still two different things. But especially with Peyton Manning, it lo- it's looking like, uh, you know, obviously by uh, early in March, they've got to determine whether or not the Colts are going to pay him $28 million. They're, not, they're not paying him. They're, I don't think they are either, but this is actually something yeah. they can think about a little bit and deal with a little bit. Might hasten their decision to let him go. Yeah, and, you know, awesome. the, the, the sources that are talking in this said also it's not a safety issue, it's a performance issue, and that he is making progress. Right, so it's still, there's still concerns. So the only concern is can he throw the ball now, well, as he's opposed making, to the injury as well. Well, and he has been throwing. Now, whether the velocity is there or not, or whether whether it increases or not, but they're saying he is physically making progress as far as his throwing. Now, we played those cuts the other day, and you said, well, I don't believe what he's saying. When, right. he, when he was all out, does this change anything for you? Or no, you, this has got nothing to do with that. I mean, this is... Well, they're saying he's making progress as far as the performance part. Right, well, according to... according to the, This is still secondhand stuff, according to sources. I think we all are so waiting to see you stick to, to the fact that Peyton Manning's a liar. Uh, I stick to the fact that I'd like to see something. I don't know why he's being so secretive about it. Have one of these workouts in public. What's the deal? Keep Man. an eye on his sleeves. Are they short or are they long? That's a Clayton issue. We'll talk with him about that tomorrow. <laughs>